We're back at the Makaharia Ben Hall, and here are the defending champions in their final competition, two-time Olympic bronze medalists, Canada's Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler. But the big question here, not can they win, but can they complete this competition? You've heard the doctor discussing her rib problems and some difficulties in the warm-up. Well, Isabel had a fall on the double axle. They came around, tried it again, <laughs> and Lloyd missed it the second time. Painful elements for them here are the double twist, which they open with, and also the lift. And here are the side by side double axles. Oh, a little touch down there. As per the rule book, a touchdown by a hand on the landing of a jump constitutes a point two deduction. Here's the lift. The reason this is so painful is because of the change of the position here. a rib injury will tell you that it's the type of thing that can aggravate you not just when you're skating but simply when you go to do something as basic as take a breath and when you're out there performing you're wanting to take not just breaths but great big ones not only that but the nature of pair skating means that the catches and the lifts are all in that area and very very painful I'm sure nice to see a straight line step sequence with a degree of difficulty about it so often most teams just simply make it an add-on element and it really can stand out on its own if done properly and done well a very gutsy skate and a very gutsy lady Absolutely, we know it hurts, but not once did she show it on the ice. Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler. Eric Gillies was saying that when she grimaces, most other skaters would be off the ice. Here we see their split double twist. And when you freeze it, look at that. Look at where her feet are relative to his head. That angle shows that she's almost clearly right over his head. We talk about teams having a trademark element, and for them, that's it. A look at the side-by-side -side double axle, and you're going to see when she lands, she breaks at the waist, right side is down, and she has to touch down with her right hand to save the landing. Even with that deduction, I feel at this point in the competition, it's still the program to beat. I expect it to be the number one skate up till this point. And I say that because of the quality of the huh? twist. As I mentioned, the straight line step sequence was good. The quality of the lift as well. Here are the required elements in a 5-8 from the Australian judge and down to five fours from Russia and Italy. They're halfway there, but the long program will be more taxing on the sore ribs. The presentation marks. And they have first place marks from five of the judges, two seconds, two thirds, the thirds from Russia and the Czech Republic, but they are in first place as Jose Picard looks on. Lloyd and Isabel, the first question, how do you feel? Uh, 
okay. <laughs> I, it feels good because we skated pretty good and we went through it and that was our goal, you know, to make it through the short tonight. And I guess we did it really good and we're happy of it because two days ago we weren't even sure to step on the ice, so we're glad that we made it and we got to compete tonight. Really good is the proper description. Listen, it, you looked like you were catching an egg. Do you know what I mean, how you throw it up in the air? When she came down, it was almost like you were afraid to grab her. Uh, I tried not to be afraid, but I did make sure I thought about a lot more things, uh, especially on the twist, the landing of the lift, uh, the pair spin, things that really, really hurt. I had to think a lot more. I wasn't going to go uh, half effort, but I had to make sure that I was thinking about those things. And it, it was good because it, it took my mind off. I was a little nervous tonight, and it took my mind off knowing that Isabel was going to be good. And then I had to think a little bit to help us both through the program. How did the injury change your program? First you, Lloyd, and, and then Isabel. I think when I came today, I was a little bit nervous in the fact that I didn't know how Isabel was going to react. Uh, at home, uh, at the hotel, Isabel came to me and said, you know, I'm ready. I know I can do it. That made me feel 100% better. And then it was just a question of me being relaxed, having a good attitude, knowing that and having Isabel believe that I believed in her. And I think we did, and we proved that tonight. Are you going to be able to sleep tonight? You didn't get any sleep last night with the pain. Um, I, I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure the doctor is going to give me probably painkillers so I can sleep properly. And, you know, with my five pillows, maybe I'll find a comfortable position so I can fall asleep. Gold medal tomorrow? I have no idea. we got to get through tonight. Tomorrow morning's practice, and then we'll make a decision whether we'll do the long or not. I know we'd both like to, but it's a question of physically. Are Best we of luck. Uh, gutsy performance by both of you tonight. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, Lloyd Eisler, Isabel Brasseur. Chris, uh, back to you. Thanks, Brian. And remember, any... One of the top three can win gold tomorrow by winning the free skate. Shishkova Naumov, the leaders. Brasur and Eisler are second. And another Russian couple, Eltsova Bushkov, last year's European champions, are third. Sargent and Wurtz are in ninth place. Soleil and Turner, the other Canadian pair, are 18th. And we'll have more from Japan after this. <laughs> 